Take the first component. Nizam minus ELF. We'll generate the dot of i and underscore simple. Step number three. LD minus M ELF I386 underscore simple dot minus O add dot sim. It will generate the executor file with the name add underscore sim. Okay, I'm going to see the output right now dot slash dot simple. Okay, we'll give the output as a name. So we have created the system with the state. Okay, if the same thing I want to capture. The cheat cheat bubble that check number one gtp space dot slash add underscore simple name of the executable file enter it will jump to the gtp section step number two give the breakpoint p r e a space underscore a breakpoint so breakpoint has been started and kept at the first address on the code memory for the first level of first instruction where it is going to store. Now go for the next line. Run. The code is at the first breakpoint. It has been executed and it is waiting for the next line to execute. Now we need to set the next line as a this assembly flavor with the Intel set space. This assembly flavor as Intel. So we kept this assembly flavor as Intel. Now we need to go for the next line to instruction execution. But before that, we need to keep a layout of assembly view and the register view. Next line will be layout asm will generate the layout for the assembly language just we have created a b step by step every instruction will execute over here there are two values ax is 0 x8 ex is 0 x01 so at the end of this execution code the result will be 0 x09 okay this is layout of assembly view second is layout of registers second book right now yet the values has been not upgraded because yet we have not executed them. So EX, EBX, ACX, EDX are blank. So now if I want to execute it line by line, go to the instruction next I. Okay, now just see EX has been updated with the first line as an EX as a 8. Now pointer is pointing to second instruction, it is not yet executed. So ECX, the value of AX is right now 0. Okay, so again if I next I, now it will update the EX with the value as 0, 0, 1. Okay, in this way, step by step, execution of the instructions, we are going to do it over here. Okay, so again type the next I, the value has been updated now with the addition of the values. So EAX and CX has been added and result is in the EX as a 0, 0, 9. Okay, now if I go for the next instruction, next I, the value has been updated and now we need to store in the data DB address. Okay, so it is moving the value from AX to the DB address. Okay, so DB address is given. 0x80490b4. Again, if I put the next i, the value has been dumped to the address pointed by the pointer at the db. Now it is calling the system call int ats. Okay, next i exit call he is going to call trigger right now. Next i a6 will be updated by the value to display the output on the console. The value has been shifted. Initiate the call. System call.
finally come out of the scope of the loop so first four lines we have executed for system write so nine value will be displayed on the console then next two lines has been called for the system exit so this is code for uh, executing and taking the output step by step so how the code is updated the registers has been updated step by step assembly also has been updated thank you